Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I started out with a clean moisturized face, of course. And then we're just going to put the, um, I'm going to start off with primer. And of course I'm using the Milk of Magnesia as my primer. It, it helps my foundation last longer and it fills in my very large pores. My next step is to go ahead and add the foundation once the primer has dried. And again, I'm using my Miracle Cushion Foundation by Lancome, which you guys know I am in love with. So I'm just pressing that into my sponge and you'll be able to see how much I pick up this time. Not so much, but yeah. So I just pat that in and blend it out until everything is all evenly blended. So now that our foundation is applied, I am taking um, a brush pencil. This is by uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the pencil in Auburn. And I am just outlining and filling in with this pencil. I believe that I like pencils better than powder. So yeah, I'm just filling that all in and making it look nice and neat. And then I'll go in and brush the front to make it look like it's faded out so it's not just a I guess start and finish point it didn't look just so harsh so I then go in with my LA girl pro conceal in fawn and I'm going under my brow just to shape them out and make them look more um, of a clean look So now I am uh, going in with a square tape, square type brush and I am just blending out um, the concealer that I put under my brows to make everything look nice and neat and cleaned up and it gives it like a natural highlight as well. Now I'm going in with my Black Opal Concealer in the shade Toast and I'm just applying that all over the rest of my lid like my mobile lid and a little bit of my crease and then I'm just going to take my finger and pat that out until everything is blended out and this is going to give my eyeshadow something to stick to um, and, and so it will last a little bit longer and I don't have a creasing problem when I do this either. You only need a little not a lot but yeah I love doing the concealer as a base slash primer. So now I'm going into Coco Bear. I believe that's what that is. I'm pretty sure. That's Coco Bear by Makeup Geek. And I am placing this color in the crease in windshield wiping motions. <laughs> So our next step is our eyeshadow and I'm using the Kiss New York Nudes palette and I'm taking this pretty green shade right here. It's like an olivey green. Um, it's almost like smoky. I really like these colors. Um, you can never go, you can never have too many nude palettes I guess. Um, but yeah, I picked this up from the beauty supply store like a while ago and I've only used it like once. So yeah, so now I'm just going in and just re-blending um, out, making sure everything is blended. Every time I use a color, I pretty much go back in and blend to make sure everything is all one. So that's what's going on. I'm going into blending. And then I'm just going to take this color in the same palette. It's a gold. It's next to the olive green. It's like a really pretty neutral gold uh, shade. And I am applying that on the inner part of my eye because I kind of left that blank of any color and that's what I'm applying on the inner corners and just blending everything together. Now I'm running some eyeliner through the bottom and I'm going to tight line and pull that 
right under my lashes on top to make sure there are no gaps or anything like that um, so that everything looks dark um, underneath so this is what tight lining is and that's what I'm doing with the Ellie girl gel liner and then I'm just following through the same colors the lighter color the gold color on the inner third and then I'll do the darker um, the green color on the outer corner and just blend them together um, and this is how I do my liner I take that little brush and I got this brush from the Maybelline studio eye studio package I want to say their eyeliner and I just brushed I took the product from the gel pencil and that's how I'm applying my liner because I it, it gives me more control that way and I really really like the fact that it's so creamy that I can do this with that I love this liner like I know everybody boasted about it but I do really like it you would think it should it is just a regular liner but it's a regular good liner that's not 20 bucks so I'm digging it it's the LA girl one and then I'm just taking some mascara and coating my uh, lashes to prepare them for my eyelashes that I'm gonna put on my beautiful falsies these are the Ardell Demi wispy falsies and these are the ones I will probably always use because I love them So now we're going to move on to the rest of the face and I am now applying my concealer and of course I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn and I'm just applying that in my highlighted areas which are under the eyes and down the bridge of the nose, the middle of the forehead, Cupid's bow and on the chin is where I like to highlight. So now I'm just going in with a brush and I am blending all those colors out. I'm using the Real Techniques foundation brush for this step. I love this brush for this reason. I've never used this brush for actual foundation. I've always used it for concealer but because um, it fits perfect in those spots. But that's what I'm doing, just blending everything out. Notice how I'm going to the end of the color now and just blending it where the concealer ends. I just blended that, that part out. Now I am taking my Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Powder and I am applying that to all the places where I apply my uh, concealer as a highlight and I'm just pressing this into the skin. Now I'm just blending everything out and what I'm using is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark and I'm just going all over everywhere that I didn't apply the highlight and just brush everything, brush everything together for the most part. It's blending but I'm just brushing away the Sasha Cosmetics. Now I'm going into my e.l.f. blush and I'm using the bottom right, that darker blush right there that's the color that I'm using out of this little palette and I love it they actually are very pigmented and they wear pretty well so I'm not mad at them but um yeah and then this is the highlight uh, I'm just going in with highlight and I didn't show you guys so my bad but it is the um, Missy Lynn highlighter in the shade it's the golden one it's two of them the one on the left if you guys have seen or have that palette the one the, the highlighter on the left is like a rosy type highlighter and this one is just like a gold so I'm just adding that to the highest points of my cheeks so now the lippies that I'm using are the matte flat finish pigment by LA girl this first shade I'm using here is called black current it's a beautiful deep purple I love it 
but I'm using this as a like a lip liner because I'm going to do both the colors so this I, don't, I didn't even use a lip liner at all in this look so I'm just taking the black current shade and applying it on the outside of my lips on the outer portion to make it to give a dimension so that it looks like it's a liner but it's not and then I'm just gonna let that dry while that drying I'm going to make sure we add uh, mascara to the bottom lashes and then we're just gonna move on to the next color which is stunner I'm in love with these purples I don't I'm not even a purple I keep claiming I'm not a purple person but I am in love with purple lips but yeah this shade like I said is stunner so these colors together are pretty awesome but that is what it is and I just blend them together uh, so it's almost ombre ish but basically they're just blended. So now our look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Um, make sure you guys subscribe and thumbs up this video for more videos. If there's something specific you guys want to see, let me know. No one ever lets me know, so I just basically do what I want, which is fine too. But um, yeah, that is the end of this video. I'm totally getting my life. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, check the information bar for more information and my social medias and such and the products that I use will also be in that information. So, till the next video, bye.